Christian Sustainability Club με το διεθνή προσανατολισμό που τη διακρίνει στοχεύει εκτός των άλλων να γνωστοποιήσει τη δράση του κλαμπ αλλά και την ενεργειακή δυναμική της χώρας μας σε ξένα κράτη. Με ιδιαίτερη λοιπόν χαρά καλωσορίζω στο βήμα τον πρέσβη του Ιράκ στην Αθήνα, κύριο Μπουρχάντζα. Members of the conference, uh, members of the panels, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Kalispera. I just noticed in my CV um, that everybody has, I'm the only one who has date of birth. So, <laughs> so that's a lesson I learn for next time. Good. <laughs> Okay, now, uh, serious, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the MBA, International Energy Club of the University of Economic and Business in Athens, of Athens, for giving me such an opportunity to share some thoughts with you concerning the development prospects of Iraq and future prospect with particular attention to the energy sector. Let's hope that this conference will be a springboard to an enduring cooperation with the Embassy of the Republic of Iraq in Athens. It is common knowledge that the importance of energy security, which derives from its critical role in all aspects of everyday and business life, namely the competitiveness of national economies, a central government, governmental priority. Even foreign politics are nowadays, policies, sorry, are nowadays shaped and dictated on the basis of reassuring adequate energy supplies, considering the ever-increasing demand for energy globally vis-a-vis -vis the remaining energy of the planet. As regards the case of Iraq, the energy sector holds the key to the country's future prosperity and can make a major contribution to the stability and security of global energy markets. According to the World Energy Outlook series, that's in October 2012, <clears throat> Iraq is already the world's third largest oil exporter and has the resources and the plans to increase rapidly its oil and natural gas, gas production as it recovers from more than three decades uh, in, 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 uh, in conflicts and um, uh, wars. It has the resources and the plan, sorry, and it's recovered from the three decades punctuated by conflict and instability. Iraq stands to gain almost five trillion dollars in revenues from oil export over the period to 2035. An annual average of 200 billion dollars and an opportunity to transform the country future prospects. Of course, achieving the required level of oil will require rapid and coordinated progress all along the energy supply chain. The, the puzzle is simple. The needs of a global market for growth match Iraq increasing energy production and the needs for revenue to build the foundation of a modern and prosperous economy. According to the same 
report, the anticipated increase in Iraq's oil production of more than 5 million barrels per day over the periods to 2035. This increase will render Iraq by far the largest contributor to global supply growth. Over the current decade, Iraq accounts for around 45% of the anticipated growth in global output. Iraq becomes a key su supplier to fast-growing Asian market, mainly China. And by the 2030s, Iraq is the second largest global oil exporter overtaking Russia. Now, still, much of Iraq has yet to be explored, as it is unproven reserves are expected to be much higher. Baghdad estimates oil reserves at 150 billion barrels, excluding the region of Kurdistan. If we add up Kurdistan region's estimate of nearly 50 to 70 billion barrels, then we are talking about a total of 200 billion barrels reserve. Yet, there are diversifications as regards as regard the gas reserves. One estimate records Kurdistan region reserve at 2.8 trillion meters. In contracts to the other publication, which they put it at 200. Thus, Iraq's economy is dominated by the oil sector, which provides more than 90% of the federal governmental revenues and 80% of foreign exchange earnings. However, this economic growth is also facilitated by the improving security environment, the increasing foreign investment, and an evident political stability vis-a-vis -vis the development in energy, construction, and retail sectors. In 2012, Iraq boosted oil production to almost 3 million barrels per day, 2.4 million of which is exported with the help of international oil companies. Iraq has boosted oil export to a 30-year high. This is a significant increase compared to the 2.0 million barrels before 2003. In addition, Iraq contracts with major oil companies have the potential to further expand oil exports and revenues given that Iraq will go ahead and export infrastructure to enable these deals to reach their full economic potential. <clears throat> the federal government expects to expand capability to 10 million barrels a day within six years, which will which would place Iraq at the top of the world oil producers. Iraq's improving stability, it is fast resource base as well as its contracts with international companies to develop the country's major field, provide the foundation for a rapid increase in oil production in the years to come. Iraq has the prospects to lead OPEC oil production growth over the next two decades, Iraq has the world's fifth largest crude reserve, according to the data from the British Petroleum. As a matter of fact, Iraq produced 3.2 million barrels a day in March this year. 
So when discussing, sorry. When discussing about Iraq, it is important to note that the whole of Iraq gradually, but especially in the Kurdish North region, seems to increasingly attract the attention of a Greek businessman. Looking for business prospect, Greek involvement in Iraqi market is increasing since the last 18 months. This, <clears throat> of course, Iraq is welcome, the Greek business community, the Greek businessmen, to work and invest in that country. Greek business have the willingness, with the willingness and the know-how, to me, coupled with a good Partnership, local partnership, I think these both factors are the key to a competitive market and I believe that in the years to come it is realistic to say that we can raise level of our economy ties even higher than it is today. Now, as far as the Kurdistan region is concerned, we, should know, we, sh we shouldn't ignore the fact that it holds an additional 45 billion barrel reserve. That's according to the sources of the Kurdistan regional government. <coughs> GENL Energy is the largest producer in Iraq Kurdistan region. Announce about 10 days ago, a discovery at the Chiai Surkh site, a field. The first of five Chiai Surkh wells flowed nearly 12,000 barrels of oil per day and 15 million cubic feet of gas, which might very well mean that Chiai Surkh contains more than 300 million barrels reserve of oil. Well, this is good news. And even more today, the Kurdistan region with high security and reasonable, and reasonable political stability, coupled with highest growth rates, the region has attracted attention not only for its energy reserve, but also for its construction, infrastructure, and food industry potential. According to the Economist Intelligence Unit, Iraq's economy is expected to grow by 9% on average during the 2013 and 2017, driven primarily by the, rising, by the rising oil production. The private sector will co contribute to that increase through oil companies driven driving growth and boosting infrastructure development, housing, transportation, and communications. In the Central Economist Intelligence Munich scenario, Iraq's gross domestic product, GDP, in 2035 will be five times larger than today. It is energy demand four times higher and it is GDP per capita comparable with that of the Brazil today. Yet, it remains necessary to encourage growth of the emerging non-oil sector of the Iraqi economy to achieve that kind of growth. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, in an era where the promotion of security all, at all levels, human endeavor is a global principle and value. 
everyone understand the need for collective co action and transparency, both on the local and on international level. And that this is spectrum, I should note that Iraq has announced S N E I T I, that's Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative. Compliant country on December 12, 2012. So, So, two points I would like to draw your attention here. Now, point one, as you know, EITI is considered to be a global standard for transparency in, in, in extra active industries sector. Benefits for implementing countries include an improved investment climate through the strengthening of accountability and good governance, as well as though, uh, through, sorry, promoting greater economic and political stability. As Iraq oil and gas sector account for most of the GDP public revenues, and it is foreign exchange earnings, it is therefore central to the Iraqi fiscal position and critical to the vitality of the Iraqi economy to support of the country's ongoing reconstruction, particularly with regard to oil, gas, and power infrastructure. Although Iraq is endowed with approximately 12% of the world's proven oil reserves and major natural gas, the aftermath of the 90s conflict found Iraq oil production plummeted and it is production, transport, storage, and export infrastructure suffered severely. Though, although the current high oil prices have allowed Iraq to rather maintain its fiscal position. I'll finish. Nevertheless, the federal government of Iraq is entirely committed and focused on sound management and the optimal performance of the oil and gas sector, which is considered the most significant driver of the Iraqi economy. This necessitates uh, prioritizing the oil and gas industry, adapting the legal framework to global energy environment and sustaining efforts to rehabilitate the country's oil production, transport, storage, and export infrastructure. Therefore, the government, thus the federal government, consider that only the full and the optimal development of its oil and gas reserve will enable Iraq to fully benefit from its large resources base in a manner commensurate with its unrealized potential. In this respect, the recent efforts by the government of Iraq to award service contracts to international oil companies through an innovative and highly publicized and transparent four rounds of bidding, which is where in held in June 2009, December 2009, October 2010, <coughs> and April 2012. According, according to the EITI report, which is, it was in March 2013, facilitated and enabled the country to develop new and gas oil gas fields, reverse declining output and increase production. Now I come to my second and last point. Is I should mention that bilateral relation between Greece and Iraq are at a high level. At, are at the high level. Greece supports all international initiatives aimed at supporting the new 
federal constitutional, constitutional of Iraq, and this is democratization process. The development of a free and competitive economy, as well as full restoration of Iraq relation with its neighbor, neighboring country. At the same time, Greece and Iraq work together to promote the economic and social reconstruction of Iraq, emphasis on programs aimed at improving education, health, and cultural tourism. In addition to the implementation of a living condition of Iraqi population, Greece and Iraq already cooperate closely in various areas of international interest and look forward to develop and enhance more of our bilateral cooperation in other areas as well, such as energy resources, shipping, construction, and reconstruction of our port. As the planet faces divert and challenging questions about the production and supply of energy, Greece can take a central position in the energy future. As a strategic energy hub of the Southeast Europe, an attractive investment region. In this respect, we understand that energy cooperation can greatly contribute to a better future of all, of, for all of us through constructive dialogue, confidence, and mutual trust between our nations. This is the only way we shall able to secure the future the new generations deserve. We, we are just in need of willingness, determination, and implementation. Thank you very much for listening to me.